Unigraphics contains several methods for creating surfaces. The first we will look at is surface by four points. This simple command is found in the insert menu under surface, surface by four points. This command allows you to select any four points to define a surface. The points do not need to be planar. For this command, you must simply select four points you wish to define the corners of your surface. There is a button in the dialog box which allows you to select and delete the last point chosen if you are not satisfied with it. Once you have the four points you desire, simply choose the check mark in the dialog box or use the middle mouse button to create your surface. Another method used to create surfaces is the bounded plane method. This allows you to create a planar sheet by using strings of end-to-end -end curves for the sheet boundaries. This command is found in the Insert, Surface, Bounded Planes menu. To use this command, you must first define the outer and inner boundaries of the desired surface. Inner boundaries are optional and will result if you wish your surface to contain some kind of hole or cutout. Strings of curves must be continuous with no breaks or gaps. If necessary, you can use the filters to help you choose bounding entities. The filters available are solid face, solid edge, curve, and chain curves. After the selection strings are defined, you can use the middle mouse button or click OK to create the surface. Another surface generator is the ruled surfaces method. This method creates a surface by assigning a one-to-one -one correspondence between points on two curves and connecting the corresponding points with straight line rulings through which the surface passes. The ruled surfaces command is found in the insert menu under mesh surface ruled. When using this command, the dialog will first prompt you to select section string 1. This string may be a curve, solid edge, or solid face and must be continuous without gaps or holes. After choosing the first string, you must choose the second string selection option from the dialog box, then pick the second selection string. The selection intent box is available to allow you to choose a string of curves. Both strings you select must either be open or closed. You cannot create a surface from an open curve to a closed curve. However, if you are creating a surface by parameter or by arc length, you may choose a point as your first selection. You must also be careful when selecting your section string. Surfaces will be created by connecting start point to start point and will follow the direction of the curves. Since the end point nearest the pick point is always the start of the curve, you must be careful how you select your curve or your surface will become twisted. You can change the direction of the curve by deselecting a curve and reselecting it by clicking nearer to the other end point. After selecting your section curves, you can then select the alignment parameter to use. This is how you specify the points and distance the straight lines connecting the two curves will be drawn from. The most common options are by parameter and by arc length. The parameter method spaces the points through which the connecting curves will pass at equal parameter intervals along the defining curve edges. The entire length of each curve is used. The arc length method spaces the points through which the curve will pass at equal arc length intervals along the defining curves. The entire length of each curve is used. This option can only be used if the preserve shape box is deselected. The distance and angles method can be used to create surfaces that do not extend through the entire length of both curves. Once you are satisfied with the curves and options you have selected, simply choose Apply to create your surface.
Surfaces may also be created using the through curves command. This command is similar to surface command, except that you may select as many section strings as you wish. Through curves is also found in the insert mesh surface menu. When using this command, the surface will be created through the curves specified in the order they were selected. After picking each string, you must click with the middle mouse button or with the right and left simultaneously in order to select the next curve. You can change the curve order from the dialog box by highlighting a curve and using the move up or move down arrows within the dialog box. The option entitled Patch Type specifies how the surface will be created. Multiple patches creates a surface with a tile structure, while single creates a whole surface as one entity. As is the case with ruled surfaces, you can also change the alignment methods when creating surfaces through curves. Also, as is the case with ruled surfaces, the way you select your section strings is extremely critical. If you are using open curves for your profiles, the endpoint nearest the pick point will be the start of the curve, and one edge of the surface will travel through each of these points. Thus, the surface may become twisted if your endpoints and directions are not correctly specified. Direction of the curve is important when using closed curves as well. You can reverse the curve's direction by deselecting it and reselecting near the other endpoint. There are multiple construction options for creating surfaces through curves. The normal option builds a curve mesh surface using the standard procedures. If you select Use Spline Points, you can create a body using the points and tangent values at the points for the input curve. For this option, the selected curves must be single B-spline curves with the same number of defining points. These are the points that will be used to create the defining parameters of the surface. The simple option builds the simplest curve mesh possible. This is done by reducing abrupt changes of curvature and minimizing the number of patches which make up the surface. You also have the option to specify the degree of the splines developed to create the surface with the vDegree command. This specifies the curve degree in the v-direction, which is the direction of construction of the surface. Finally, one common problem often comes about when using closed curves to create ruled surfaces or surfaces through curves. When using a circle or closed spline as a profile, it is not always easy to control where the start and end point of the profile is placed. Thus, when you select your profiles, although the curves may be chosen to progress in the same direction, either clockwise or counterclockwise, their start and end points do not line up. This will create a twisted surface. This problem can be fixed with the alignment option by points. This will allow you to explicitly define the path of the surface in the direction of construction. When using this option, you'll be prompted to select a point from the first curve. If you do not turn the adjustable option on, the program will simply select the previously determined start point of the curve. By activating this option, however, you will be able to select a parameter position along your profile curve. You must then do the same for the remaining curves. You can create as many pathways around your profiles as you like. The more points you select, 
the more control you will have over the construction of the surface. When you are finished, simply choose OK.